What's going on guys? Welcome to another one of Black Iron's Battles. Today we've got a Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires 1 vs 1 live battle for you. And you see the clock is counting down. We've taken the uh, green skins here. We've taken the Crooked Moon, Night Goblin War Boss, we've got Orc Shaman, Big Boss, we've got two Nasty Skulkers, both are Regiments of Renown, three groups of Black Orcs. Uh, we've got the, uh, in all of those Regiments in Renown there, we've got the Arachnorok Queen, Durkit Squig Hoppers, We've got the uh, Mogrub's Mangy Marauders as well as the Rusty Errors. So this is just a just a nasty armor piercing build I thought to try. And we have brought the uh, Arachnorok Queen. So I ha I'm not sure uh, you know if he'll have enough uh, armor piercing to deal with it. A lot of the time they won't bring any Marauders or anything like that. So without ranged, um, it'll really be up to me to keep my Arachnorok Spider away from his halberds. But at this point, um, I think that when I face against Chaos, normally a lot of the time they have uh, a lot of um, pretty pretty low armor or low unit count armies, and so the uh, the summoned spiders of that of that Arachnorok Queen will definitely be able to help me out. All right. So we've also brought uh, the Tormentor Sword with our Night Goblin War Boss, but let's go ahead and just get our front line here in action. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll put uh, all these guys here in the front line. So. Um, because they've got stock, they'll actually take a little bit longer to be able to see them, and so they won't quite um, know what's coming at them. Anymore. Besides that, we'll go ahead and put our uh, Rusty Airs, as well as our Mogro's Mangy Marauders right here in the middle. And I just like to really uh, keep them as part of um, my my main core there instead of putting them out on the end. We'll go ahead and move our uh, Spider up as far as it can go. And let's see. Go ahead and put our Durkits over, just over here on, on the flank. All right, let's go ahead and put our war boss there in the back. Put our shaman on on one side here, and we'll put our goblin big boss on the other. Go ahead and group everyone up in one big group. Put Durkid and the Arachnorok spider on their own. Well, let's go ahead and just start moving. All right, so he actually does have some Marauder Horsemasters. Let's see if we can summon some uh, as soon as possible. We'll just start shooting. All right, let's go ahead and get my Durkid squigs. Come at these. There we go, and we'll go ahead and summon some spiders right in there. And that should first get us started. Ah. Okay. Alright, let's keep moving up. Hopefully we'll get those uh, spiders summoned at some point here. Let's have them catch right on those Marauder Horsemasters. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get our Dirkit Squigs in the back. We'll have them come around. And we're just going to have everyone start attacking up there. Now that we've got these range units, we'll go ahead and back there. And let's see, what do we want to do? We'll go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, cast. Where do we want that? Right there. And we'll cast a big wog. We'll go ahead and just keep fighting. We do have these dragon ogres, so we'll go ahead and drop our range units back. We'll go ahead and get one of these big groups here. We've got the AP Glunas here. We're going to go ahead and use all of their uh, abilities. We'll go ahead and have those guys start spinning in there. And we'll also go ahead and use that smoke bomb. And it looks like, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't get in here. And we'll go ahead and cast some uh, some big attacks there as well. Alright, so we've got uh, got pretty much everyone going. It looks like they're kind of getting scared off there. So let's go ahead and use our range units to attack those Chaos Warriors with Halberds. And right now we'll just kind of keep everyone moving. We'll have these Black Orcs. We're going to give them Fists of Gore. And we'll have them attack in here with the Warlord's Voice. Go ahead and get these Mail Grubs Mage and Marauders back. Let's go ahead and get our... our uh, spider coming right in here and we're going to go ahead and summon some more spiderlings right in the back there we do have uh some of our units are still doing pretty good here make sure our our black orcs are fighting make sure everyone's doing pretty doing great everyone's on and it looks like we have uh actually so we'll go ahead and see if we can kill this gorby's chariot right here go ahead and get in the back here make sure that any of our our guys are keep moving and let's just keep everyone attacking at this point all right let's go ahead and keep our black orcs we'll go ahead and use them to take those dragon ogres and if I can, I'll, I'll kind of get in here and see if I can't help out over here on this flank. This is a pretty heavy flank. We'll go ahead and get everyone to come in the back here. We'll just have them kind of come right in the back of these Chaos Warriors. They're all still fighting as soon as some units come in the back. And let's go ahead and just summon, as soon as we can, we'll sum, summon some more of those spiders. And that maternal instinct is really starting to help us out. We do have the Black Orcs on top of these, uh, see, the Dragon Ogres. And... It looks like we're doing okay against this Gorby's Chariot. We are getting kind of here in the back, and so we'll get those nasty Skulkers in there. And let's see, have we almost taken out the Gorby's Chariot? No, but we will get these nasty Skulkers over there. 
And we'll just kind of keep trying to smash our way through this main line and do whatever we can. At this point, we'll go ahead and get our spider hatchlings to attack, and we'll just keep everyone fighting at this point. Go ahead and keep the goblin big boss fighting. We've got those eight peak loonies. Make sure they're fighting. And let's see, is there anywhere we can kind of... Let's go ahead and just drop that right through there. And we're not sure if that'll hit them or us, but I'm not really tripping at this point. It looks like he has managed to mess me up pretty good um, over there. Uh, he has taken out my my goblin big boss, but that's okay. Looks like we've pretty much saved that whole flank. We were able to uh, take some good shots there. And we're going to bring Mogrubs back in. So we'll have Mogrubs start attacking Arca on there. Actually, let's have Mogrubs over here. We're going to go ahead and smoke bomb those uh, those Marauder Horsemasters. And we'll use all of our ranged units to kind of finish them off. While all of his units are kind of back here in the flanks, we do have these Squig Hoppers. We've been chasing stuff around. We'll have them go in there and try to finish off that Gorby's Chariot. But I think at this point, um, all our ranged units are really doing some major work. Let's go ahead and have them start attacking these uh, Dragon Ogres again. And at this point, I think it's pr that's pretty much it. I mean, there's... There's a few Warlords boys and different things here, and we can summon some more of these uh, Spiderlings right there in front. We'll have them start attacking those Dragon Ogres while our ranged units are doing some damage. It looks like those Durkit Squigs are going to come right into the back of that Gorby's Chariot, and I guarantee that thing is going to go down right now. That is it. Gorby's Chariot's gone. And we'll go ahead and just do everything we can to keep killing those Dragon Ogres. Here in the back, it looks like he is finally starting to do some good damage with those Marauder Horsemasters. But I'm not too worried. We'll just keep fighting them. And do everything we can. And we'll go ahead and just freeze them right there. Alright, so we've frozen them in place. We'll go ahead and uh, have our Dirk Squigs come in there. Get all of our range units attacking. And we should be alright. You see the main main armies are here. It looks like it's pretty much just about killing Archon. Everyone else is kind of broken. And at this point, it looks like, I mean, those Marauder Horsemen, they're going to go down. That's, there's not much time left. Make sure our uh, big boys are attacking Archeon. Make sure everyone's attacking Archeon here. We're going to go ahead and pull up the log. And I think that's going to be it. Everyone's kind of grouped up here. We're having no problems. Marauder Horsemasters are going down. Let's go ahead and have our Mograbs choose those great, kill those great weapons. At this point, I think that's it. So we'll go ahead and end the battle there. Take a look at this post-game wrap-up. That was a great battle because it's very, very hard. You saw that? Just the sheer amount of uh, spider wings they had to cut through was really helpful for us. Um, even though they did have a bunch of these Chaos Warriors, we had so many things in play. Our Black Orcs were able to do a ton of damage since we had a few Chevrons in them. They were just doing major work. 80 kills, 60 and 60. That's just huge work. Besides that, you saw those Mulgroves, Major Marauders, and the Rusty Hares were able to kind of take those Dragon out Ogres out pretty easily. And look at just the sheer number of kills on these Nasty Skulkers and these Warlords boys and stuff. So there's about 200 kills spread across these uh, Goblin units. And he really didn't have a lot of expense <laughs> or a lot of cheap units. So um, we may have gotten some good kills on the Chaos Marauders, but since he had so much Chaos Warriors, my light numbers... Um, we're able just to kind of cut them down. I know that we were able to put some uh, some big buffs, the wog over there on the right hand flank, and I think that you know that along with all of those spiders and just the the terror and everything that was caused by my queen, and um, we were I think we were able just to pull out the victory. So it was a great game. My opponent's army chosen the uh, chaos and chosen. I, I like the name. Um, you see here he did do okay with those marauder horse masters, but we were kind of able to kind of keep them moving around and wasn't able to really get them to in where he wanted and besides that i mean the dragon ogres those are so expensive and to take those out with only nine kills i think that was a big turning point in the battle uh, if he would have had those dragon ogres and maybe he was able to get some of those halberds over there onto my arachnorok queen he would have probably been able to do a little bit better but i mean if you see here if i'm a chaos player i'm going to bring a couple of regular chaos warriors because these guys don't have shields they have lower defense and um you know uh, the, the archers different things like that are able to kind of get in there and do some some major work since they no defensive, uh, defensive shielded units besides this one. Also, just so you guys know, RK on the Never Chosen, no matter how many times I try to make him work, he is definitely not that competitive at the moment. So if you're you're going with uh, Chaos, Warriors of Chaos, I would have had a lot harder time had he went with uh, Polek, uh, or you know, or even um, just one of the general general Chaos Lords. I mean, for the cost of Archaon, he, I mean, I know that he's a caster and a melee lord, which kind of you know makes you think that you should bring him because he'll he'll fill both roles. But if you look here, I mean, Kolek with those dragon ogres would have been smashing through my lines and doing some major work. 
overall, though, it was a great game that my opponent chosen. I hope to see you guys uh, soon here on Ladder, and thank you guys all so much for watching. Please subscribe for more great online content. This is Black Iron, and this has been another one of Black Iron's Battles.